Hello, DJRS, you watch an economic news on InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Nidachina. In August, bond yields uh, of most European countries, which fall when prices rise, declined sharply. Judging uh, by investors' activity to buy government bonds, market participants do not wait for positive news. Several European countries' bond yields continue falling. This happens amid obvious investors' expectations of deflation in the euro area. German's 10-year bond yields uh, fell below 1% compared to 2% in the early half of the year. The Eurozone economy still remains in crisis. In these circumstances, European investors transfer their capital to the most reliable assets, German and French bonds. The yields of these assets are now even lower than at the all time of the Great Depression. Treasuries of Southern European countries enjoy high demand. Portugal's bonds have grown most of all. The thing that attracts investors is a high yield, which is about 3%. French, Italian, Spain and even Greek bonds are rising as well. A decline in yield means that investors are on the lookout for the introductions of quantitative easing in the euro area in the nearest future. Deutsche Bank had seen the buying of assets happening in 2015, but the viewpoint is now maintained that the signs suggest that the central bank could begin as early as September 2014. Moreover, the situation fuels speculation about potential ECB refinancing rate cut. Such a move would trigger the euro sell-offs. Analysts at Berkeley's are among those who recommend selling the euro before the ECB meeting. It was Instaforex News and me, Kate Nidachina. Have a nice trading day.